welcome back to another edition of Build Kit Review. This time we have this OD here, the Monogram 1934 uh, Model A uh, station wagon that is also called a Woody, even though this Woody name was never official. But it's quite it's quite an interesting kit. I got it a long time ago along with the the version that you can build stock if I'm not mistaken that is a 1931 but don't 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 uh, I'm not sure about that. I have to take a look at the stash because I have that kit let bury it there and that kit is a little different. It opens the doors. This here doesn't. I did a little homework on this kit when I first bought it. This is the 1995 reissue. And this kit uh, was first released in 1964, I believe. And it had the same wheels and tires as the Blue Bandito. The monogram kit of the 1929 uh, Ford Roadster pickup truck and though those wheels and tires were quite uh, 60s inspired and were in fashion at the time and when this particular uh, incarnation of the kit came out in 1974 this box art is from 1974 they changed the the wheels and tires and they did a more 70s vibe uh, hot hot with the with the 1934 woody and they called the early iron series uh, it's a kit that can only be built as a hot hot unless you want to do some serious kit bashing uh, I didn't, I just built this kit uh, as, uh, as a way of relaxation and it only took me really, really two days if you don't count the, the time I had to wait for the paint to dry but really building I only, I only took two days and I'm going to show you my, my woody well here she is. The, the kit goes together quite nicely. Just the hood uh, is quite odd. It doesn't fit well. And the, the stamped trim on the hood doesn't quite uh, matches the stamped trim on the call. And that is is the most serious problem I, I found on the kit. I could have uh, fixed that, but I, I just didn't want to worry about it. I just wanted something I could build uh, fast and without hassle and get done with just for the fun of the thing. Um, it was the, the, the woody parts, the, the wood parts were all painted with acrylics and what I did here I gave everything a base coat of very light tan and to give the wood effect I mixed a darker shade of tan with, uh, with uh, testers uh, clear not the flat clear, the gloss clear acrylic. A few drops of uh, tan on a on a bottle cap of clear, and that that mixture was then thinned a bit with Windex, and I brushed on the body, and. Just by brushing on the body you get this effect that is, I think it's quite cool. And that's, that's the limit 
of my capability of of emulating wood. Uh, I think I mentioned that already, but I'm I I, I suck at at replicating wood. Uh, I I'm not I'm not talented to do that. So this is my best wood uh, representation. And considering that in the last, uh, let's say, 10 years, this is the second Woody I built, I'm not, I'm not really worried about it, but so long, it is what it is. Uh, continuing with the build, the wheels and tires are the 74 version. And if you build old monogram models, you you are quite familiar with those wheels and tires. The fenders were painted with a uh, synthetic enamel black, and that's just the enamel from the testers little bottles that they I airbrushed on the plastic without giving it a primer or anything, and well, it resulted uh, far from perfect, but quite nice. Uh, the yellow here, on the wheels, on the call, on the, on the hood, and here also on the back of the seat and on the dash there. This yellow is in fact uh, some leftover uh, Inca gold paint that I had. Well, I still have quite a lot. Uh, Inca Gold is a 1957 Ford color and I painted a, a 57 Fairlane 500 Club Victoria with this color and recently I painted a Ford Thunderbird that I'm working on a 57 Ford Thunderbird, the, the AMT kit uh, painted the car all Inca Gold so I, I had this Inca Gold already thinned and ready to go and I painted those parts Inca gold so they are a color that is uh, close in the same family let's say of the color of the wood and uh, without being a match and I think that's quite it's quite nice about the the color choice another the thing I did to this kit I changed the engine well, again, if you know this kit, you know the engine is a, uh, a Chevrolet. It's a Chevrolet engine, a small block Chevy, with uh, six carburetors. And, well, I, I didn't use that. I built the engine, and uh, I glued it to a uh, engine stand, and it's on my shelf. But on the Woody, I adapted this more uh, appropriate engine that is a Ford Y block this is a 292 it's from a 56 Thunderbird in fact it's a resin copy of the engine on a 56 Thunderbird kit as I didn't want to to have a kit without an engine so I did a resin copy the valve covers and the air cleaner are uh, are leftover parts from my last uh, build on the MT 1957 Ford. Those are the the hot hot parts. These chrome valve covers and the Thunderbird uh, air cleaner. I scratch built the carburetor as I didn't have any uh, to represent an auto light for 100 for barrel. And the the generator is the, the generator from the kit. Um, and the 292 Y block, it's quite at home here on a Ford Woody. Here on the underside, you can see the very, very few modifications I had to do to install this engine. And if I didn't tell you, you would say this engine came with the kit. But it is in fact a resin copy of the Ford V8 
engine from the Thunderbird kit with a few parts from the with a few parts from the AMT57 uh, Ford Fairlane the overall appearance I think it's quite nice for a, a little hot hot especially with the 292 under the hood and I have a I have a very very soft spot for those Y blocks as I daily drive a, a Galaxy that has a 292 and um, the engine is bulletproof mine has more than 150,000 miles just on my hands and the engine never gave me trouble never you just have to maintain it properly change the oil change the filter keep the the valves uh, with the correct lash because it's a solid lifter engine use oil with a lot of ZDDP because it's a flat tappet and uh, you won't have any problems it's really a dream of an engine I love it and I think it sounds it's the second best V8 ever in sound because I think the best V8 ever in sound is the Ford Flathead V8 and after the Flathead V8 the Y block the Y block is it just purrs is a mellow uh, deep rumble that those engines have and they are torque machines I really love the Y blocks and I wanted a Y block on this little hat hat just for fun well I think it resulted not bad for something I, I spent about 48 hours building uh, maybe double that uh, waiting for the paint to dry but once the paint was dry I just put everything together and polished and assembled and it was completely ready in less than two days so it's a simple kit it fits nicely goes together nicely and I think it has very nice detail and if I didn't uh, if I didn't had to worry about the engine change, probably I could have built it in one day. That's that. It's that simple, and it has very nice detail. So if you can still find one of those uh, early uh, 1995 uh, re-releases, get one. You won't get disappointed. It's a very nice kit. Even with Chevrolet engine, uh, here is the Chevrolet engine it has with six carburetors. Oh, I have nothing against the Chevrolet engine. I used to have uh, a Chevrolet truck, an S10, and I love that thing to death, but I don't like a Chevrolet engine on a Ford, so I had to change that. I'm guilty of installing a Ford engine on a Chevy, but that was kind of to pull the leg of the Chevy guys. Well, guys, thank you very, thank you very much for taking a look on this old Ford, and have a nice week. Thank you.